All right, application number two. This is uh, Pixlr's photo editor, Pixlr E. Uh, actually, this is new, and it's new to me, but it looks really good. Uh, it's got a lot of the same features as um, Sumo Paint does with its tool set over here, and it's um, it's got layers over here. Um, it's also got history and a navigator, and it's got a lot more filters, and it also has adjustments, which are kind of cool. Like if you're used to Photoshop, the threshold adjustment, for example, where you can make a stencil by making it black and white. I'm just going to use my Taylor Swift here to give you an example. I'm not going to save that. Um, and it's got all the same tools with the paint tools, but it's got a couple of extra tools that are very much like Photoshop. For example, the liquify tool. Um, it has different like push on liquify. Like I don't feel like her cheeks are big enough, so I'm just going to um, make them cheeks a little bigger. Um, actually, if you make you can make the brush size bigger on that too, um, and then I can really make her cheeks bigger. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Big cheek, Taylor Swift. Um, and it's also got the the bigify tool, which um, if I wanted her eyes bigger, I can just click in her eyes and make her eyes bigger. Now she looks like a Snapchat filter. So you can play around the liquify tool. A lot of other things you can do here. Um, it's also got the clone stamp tool, like Photoshop does. If I click on her eye, for example, I just click on it, and then um, I can draw that part. Like I feel like she needs another eye, like in her mouth, or maybe in her forehead. There you go. So that's kind of fun. So there's a lot of tools you can you can use here. Um, and again, the adjustments are very similar to Photoshop. Uh, brightness, contrast, or use saturation, which a lot of you that have used Photoshop before are familiar with. So if I want to make Taylor Swift a little bit more colorful, I can change her U and bump up her saturation. That looks nice. So uh, same thing as before. I can add uh, more layers. And I can actually add image layers, which is really nice. So now I can work on top of that with some of these other tools. Um, the blur tool. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. Got to work on this one. Um, you can blur things. You can sharpen it. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. So go into Pixlr. Try the new Pixlr R. This is a great app. And you can have a lot of fun photo manipulating and just uh, going crazy. All right. Try that one out.